what it is, YouTube, man. Big T War, man. Make sure you like my shit. Comment and subscribe. Coach Boy, man. If you want to try high field trucking, which we do, make sure you scroll down and click the link, man. Let them know Big T War sent you. Also, man, keep your notification bells on so you know what I'm dropping. Any new content, man. I just want this up a little bit, man. We got a little noise. Little background noise here, here and there. But, uh, man, let's talk about it, man. Got a few things I want to go over, man. Related to my last video, you know, who the man at 154. Now, man, I want to talk about who the face of box. Y'all let me know in the comment section who you think the face of box is. Uh, I got my top five. Like I said before, they just... My personal top five, not a boxing expert, not a coach, anything like that. But these are my top five pound for pound that I think should be, you know, according to accolades, you know, pay-per-view sales, popularity, you know, all type. Y'all let me know in the comment section, man, how you feel, what you think, you know, who you want to put as your top five. So just let me know. But number one, pound for pound, if I had to go with somebody, just going off accolades and what they did in the sport. Stuff like that. I had to go with Tans Crawford, man. You know, but I'm going to name my top five that I think should be right up there in the top five. And this is just solely off records and stuff like that. I got number one, Terrence Crawford, man, simply because the guy's got no losses. He a uh, two division, undisputed champ. He 40 and 0, you know, like 31, 37, some knockouts. The dude that comes a lot. Can't take it away from him. You know, number two, I got Inoue. I think Inoue, man, is... I think Inoue is a dude that's been looked at for a long time. You know, just because he hadn't left Japan. He hadn't left Japan. He hadn't really, you know, fought nobody over here. Nobody but Stephen Fulton. But, you know, he made short work of Stephen Fulton, man. And Stephen Fulton is a skilled dude. You know what I'm saying? And Inoue just... You know, walk through him, man. So I think the guy is is really good. Uh, he should be able to pound for pound. You know, he should be able to be able to talk to the great. So I got Inoue, man. I got Tank as my number three, and I'm gonna tell you why. And I'm gonna tell you why I don't have him as number one. But I'm gonna tell you how I got him at number three over Spence. I think Tank, man, is the most popular dude in boxing right now. He, uh, you know, he put asses in seats. You know, he sell out arenas. Pay per view buys, you know, popularity. People come out to see him. You know, he he just got he he the face right now. That I think based on that reason, you know what I'm saying. But as far as him being unified or undisputed, it's like he don't care about that. You know, it's it's all about you know making it bread, man. You know, he he just taking on that floor in Monaco. And just it's all about the money. And uh, so right now he got that. You know, he got the charisma. He got the popularity. You got people, you know, you bring people out, man. People come to see him, all types of celebrities. So that's why I got him as that. Number four, I got to put Spence. You know, I think Spence is still a top dude. You know, he was a unified champ at 147. You know, he made his presence felt at 147. You know, when nobody really fucking with him at 147. It took another great guy like Terrence Crawford to beat him. So I got Spence there. Spence, another dude that's going to put ass in the seats, pay-per-view buys, selling fights. People gonna come out to see him. And then, you know, five, I got Canelo. The reason I got Canelo at number five, man, even though he the reigning super middleweight champ for a long time, he still got two losses on his record. You know, he still got two losses. You can't overlook the two losses he got. You know what I'm saying? One chance for Floyd. People gonna say, oh, uh, you know, it was early in his career, he was young, you know, whatever. Cool. But he wasn't young when Bevo beat him. So he had the same attitude, thinking he gonna run in. You know, run over b Vol and take him out, just like that. It happened. I think, you know, he, when he got in that fight with b Vol, just because he went up and he beat Kovalev at that time, you know, Kovalev was already beat. You know, Andre Ward had already beat him twice. Then, you no, know, Cadello just went up there and finished him off. You got to remember, Andre Ward came from middleweight, too. So, you know, it wasn't no surprise. Scandello got up there, did the same thing. He just knocked him out a little earlier. You know what I'm saying? So uh, when he went up and fought Bevo for the second time, trying to get the 175 belt, they go his way. You know, Bevo kept him at bay with the with the jab, jab combination, boom, boom, coming around the glove. You know, Bevo had him, had his number. You know what I'm saying? He was trying to stop Bevo for throwing punches by hitting him on the arms. So, you know, he couldn't walk through Bevo. He couldn't bully him. 
like he bullied all the other guys, like Caleb Plant and Charlo and all these other dudes. He couldn't do Bevo like that. So those are my top five. As far as the face of boxing, I can't even get it to Canelo, man. You know what I mean? You know, even though he's fighting people, you know, he, he fought everybody. Don't get me wrong. But why are you not fighting Benavidez? This is a person in your weight class. This ain't nobody outside your weight class. This ain't a person with two weight classes down. None of that. This is a dude that's in your weight class that was in your weight class that wanted to fight you. Called you out for like two, three years, you know. And you keep coming up with excuses. Oh, he ain't got nothing to offer me. He ain't got this and he ain't got that. But you're going off and fighting other dudes that don't even make sense. You know what I mean? So it, it was just pointless. Why are you going off and fighting other niggas? You're trying to go up and fight people for what? Fight the dude in your weight class. It made sense. You know, so like I say, I don't blame Benavidez for leaving and, you know, moving up because, you know, Canelo just really ducking him. You know, not saying you're scared of him. You're just ducking the dude. You know what I'm saying? You know, for one, Canelo get hit too much, guys. Like, he's just not that dude. You know, he just looked good because he walks through people. Same way Spence did. Spence got hit a lot, too, and I'm a Spence fan. But Spence pressure, he just walked through guys. You know, he was taking punches and walked right through them. So, same way with Canelo. You know, he would he could take the punch. Get me wrong, because, you know, Triple G hit him with some, some clean shots, and he stood right there. So, he's, he he take the punch, so he just walked through him. Once he feel the power, he just keep going. But somebody like Tan Crawford, man, he don't take that much punishment. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, somebody like Terrence Crawford or Benavidez will beat Canelo. Just my opinion, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> just my opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section, but I just think, you know, Canelo beats him. I think Benavidez beats him. You know what I mean? It's just what it is, man. But when it comes to the face of boxing, I think Tank Davis just got that. You know, he's the guy that's going to put asses in the seats. People are going to come see him, celebrities, everybody going to come out, see the dude. So I, I don't think nobody else is doing what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? And he don't even have all the belts, bro. He got one belt. One belt. And he's the dude that's the face. You know, people want to come see. People want to come and what well, they want to come see him lose or win, they coming out. You know what I'm saying? The 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 thing that, you know, the, the reason why I think personally, why I think Crawford can't have that is yeah, simply because the dude is on Omaha. You know, he's trying to bring fights to Omaha. Nobody's coming to Omaha. Bro. Like, no celebrities, you know, just celebrities that's from there. You know, people that's from Nebraska or something like that, like Warren Buffett and all these dudes. You know, but, you know, you're not going to get people to come out to Omaha, bro, and look at fights. You know what I'm saying? It's just not the, you know what I mean? The arena is not that big. You know, you know, your pay-per-view buys are down. So, you know, even though you're bringing it to your city, that's cool. But, you know, you don't gain popularity like that, man. It's coming to Omaha, you know. Omaha don't even sound interesting to come to, bro. Not sitting on Omaha or nothing, but they just why Tan Crawford not going to get their recognition, you know. And his folk call it blackballing. You know, they blackballing Crawford, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's just the fact that, bro, you good. You accomplish a lot. You can beat motherfuckers. You can beat everybody in your, in your weight class. And, you know, you're two division undisputed champ. Cool, but you got to get about Omaha, bro. Like, I know he tried to, you know, he tried to bleed. That's it, but it just don't work, man. You know, unless you come in and sell out in Atlanta and Vegas or, you know, places like that, bro, you're not going to get that recognition. You know, it's just like, you know, Spence fighting Fondora. It's going to be a bigger fight than Tan Scott was fighting Israel. Similar because people want to come and see Spence. They want to see if he still spins. They want, they want to see if he's going to get his ass whooped like Tan Scott would beat him. But, but he's still the man. He's still going to pull that weight. You know what I'm saying? He's still going to put asses in the seat. And Tan Scott is not. You know what I'm saying? So, like they said up on stage that day when they got ready to fight him. You know, Spence said, hey, man, you got to thank me for making this happen. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's, it's the fact that people wanted to see Spence win the fight. You know what I'm saying? So when he lost, still nobody just really like, yeah, Crawford, man. They like, yeah, you know, Crawford, they knew he was going to win type of shit, but they wasn't cheerful about it, you know? So, but the face of boxing is tight.
I think Tank is the face boxing. Leave a comment, man. Let me know in the comment section what you think. But yeah, I think he's the face of box. Now, what's to me what's happening? They're going to set up this rematch between Spence and Crawford at one fifty four. Because you can see how things lining up. Spence is going to fight Fundora for the WBC and WBO belt. I mean, yeah, WBC and WBO belt. Crawford is fighting for the WBA belt with Israel. So. It's, it's the 147 duel back over. You know what I'm saying? It's all back over, man. It's, they doing the same thing. Spence going to be Fondora. I just think that because Fondora too long, too skinny. And Spence going to get inside and hit the body, break him down. If Spence come in, he look, you know, like the old Spence, but he still got to change up some things if he fight Crawford. But if he comes in, we you know with that, that sharp line and that, you know, they dog mentality like he used to have. It's, it's a wrap for Fondora. It's a wrap. Fondora, the only way Fondora wins that fight, he got to keep Spence at the end of the jab. You know, he he's a guy he fight, so he got to keep Spence at the end. He, he got to keep him at the end of the jab. If Spence get in the inside, it's, it's done. So Fondora got to really use his distance, his height, because he's tall. You know, Spence a lot shorter. So, He's going to have to keep Spence at the end of the jab, man. He's going to have to move. But Spence pin him down in the corner against the rope. It's a done deal. You know, but Spence is going to have to look different, man. You know, if he can, I mean, if he come in with that same bulldozer mentality, like punches, 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 punches left, punches, you, left. You know, if he come in with that shit, he's not going to be caught. You know what I mean? And like I said, I like Spence, man. Spence, Spence saying to the end. But I think if he don't change anything, man, you know, Crawford already seen that look. So Crawford will be expecting that same look. You know, if he fights Fundora, how he looks in front of Fundora, man, is going to dictate the fight between him and Spence, uh, between, between him and Crawford later on. And I think if he comes out like that, you know, it's going to be a bad night for him again, you know, and it's going to be over quicker than it was. So, Spence has got to change the thing, man. He's going to have to change his offense. You know, he's going to have to start slipping punches, man, moving his feet, you know, coming up with other combinations. You know, he got to get out of that bulldog, that bulldozer, pressure cooker mentality. He got to get out. He got to get out of that. He's going to have to, you know, change up, man. He's going to learn how to move and use all the other tools, man. If he don't, it's going to be a long night. I think Crawford's going to beat Israel. Just, I don't see the dude giving Crawford any problems. You know what I'm saying? I could be wrong. Could be wrong. But I just don't see him giving Crawford any problems, man. I think Crawford wins, uh, at least by decision anyway. Uh, you know, it's going to be unanimous, you know. You know, because when I say from Israel, he's just a power punch. You know, he's looking to land that big shot. So he's not going to land that against Crawford, man. If he does and Crawford takes it, it's over with. You know what I mean? So, me personally, they setting up the rematch. Spence Crawford at 154, man, um, for the belts. That's just what it is. Now, after this, either one of them can retire. You know, they both can retire and be done. You know, whether Spence wins or Crawford wins, you know, they have a rubber match. You know, you know, I say after the third fight, they can, they can retire. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, I mean, after the second fight, if somebody wins, they both can retire and still be you know, considered, you know, the, the top two fighters of the decade. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it could be what it is, man. But, you know, that's just my take on it. You know, that's what I see, man. And also, man, be on the lookout for my next video, man. I got to talk about Tyson going into the hospital, man. So we're going to talk about that in my next video. But, uh, but yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think in this video, man. Let me know your thoughts. Leave a comment, man. Make sure you like my shit. Comment and subscribe, man. Fuck with your boy. Been a little bit. I'm in the weather, guys. That's why I'm wearing a hoodie. Trying to sweat this stuff out, man. And uh, get back to it, bro. My voice is a little, you know, a little raspy. Stuff like that, man. But still got to grind. Still got to make this bread, man. So, uh, but yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man, in the comment section. Leave a comment. Make sure you follow me on all platforms. And make sure you fuck with your boy, man. In the meantime, in between time, 
like my shit, comment, and subscribe, man. And vote with your boy. Big to you all, man. Bye to Bye. 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 Bye.